Hi, it's Mick here from Infinity Innovations and in this video we're going to talk through the Chint CT meter and how to install this with your Hanshu hybrid, turning your hybrid into an AC controller. So what's included inside the chint box? You have two CT clamps, one's for the grid side and the other one is to monitor the PV system that's already there on the property. We also have the chint meter, that's where the CTs will be wired into and a data cable from that chint meter will go back to the hybrid. You'll also need to bring some power to that chint meter but I'll show you that later on in the video on how to install that properly. There is a chint manual as well inside the box. We are going to ask you to discard that because the wiring schematic in that is incorrect for the handshoe. We will provide you with the correct schematic for the handshoe inverter so you don't get that wrong. So let's take a look at the meter and let's see how we install this. So if we Take the meter out of the box, we open it up, we can see that we have parts at the top and at the bottom of the meter. So at the top of the meter we have the live and neutral feed. So we're just asking you to bring a live and neutral feed to this, to this um, meter. That can come from any source. Um, some people used to take it off the uh, solar DB board on its own breaker or pull it from the main consumer unit. Whichever works for you, as long as we can get a live and neutral to this meter, uh, that will then obviously give it power. So as you can see at the top of the meter, we have uh, the green connection blocks. So working left to right, we have nine, 10, 11 and 12. This is where your CT meters will be installed. So nine and 10 is for the grid side and 11 and 12 is for the PV side. And if I flip over the meter, you can see at the bottom, we have two parts there. That is for the communication cable from this meter to the hybrid itself. So the CT meters cannot be extended. So the cable that is provided with the CT meters cannot be cut and cannot be extended. So you have to take that into consideration when installing this meter. What can be extended up to 200 meters is the communication cable from the meter to the hybrid. That's where you can do the extension, 200 meters maximum. And all we ask you to do is when extending this is use some Cat5 cable using the orange and orange and white core from that cable. On the other end of the Cat5 cable in the RJ45, we are using pins one and two. But I'll go over that again in another section of this video showing you how to install the extension cable correctly. But as you can see to the left here, we do have the wiring schematic which we will provide to you either in email um, or with inside the box. But you will have this wiring schematic showing you how to connect this meter correctly. So now let's look at the installation of the communication cable from the meter to the handshoe inverter. It's very simple. We're going to use some Cat5 cable and as I've already explained, we can extend this up to 200 meters. So using the orange and orange and white core, we're going to put these into the bottom of the meter where it's a two pin out block. We're going to use the orange and white to the left and the orange on the right. So the left hand side on the RJ45 end at the inverter end is pin one and the orange cable is going to be used in pin two. So I've just used the RJ45 here beside it so you can see that we are only using these two cores and it's in pins one and two and they are used at the bottom of the meter. So now that you've installed your communication cable from the chint meter to the handshoe inverter, we're now going to install the CT clamps. So as I've stated many times, we cannot extend these CT clamps, so make sure that you've done the extension on the Cat5 cable from the meter to the handshoe inverter. You'll be provided with two CT clamps, a grid CT clamp, which has a yellow sticker, and a PV CT clamp, which has a green sticker. 
Now these need to go into the top of the chint meter. So there is a four green block pin out there at the top of the chint meter. And these are parts 9, 10, 11 and 12 working from left to right. So the first two working from the left, which is 9 and 10, that is for the grid side CT clamp. That CT clamp goes around the main live coming into the property between the main fuse cutout and the meter. And then parts 11 and 12, that's for the PV side. So the, the PV system that's already installed in the property that you want to monitor with this CT clamp, that's where that goes. It goes around the live cable feeding that inverter. So they go in parts 11 and 12. So the CTs come with two colours, white and blue. So starting from the left of the grid side, you put the white cable in port 9 and the blue cable in port 10. And then the same for the PV side. Port 11 is white, port 12 is blue. You'll notice on the CT clamps, they do have arrows. These arrows always need to point to the load. So on the live cable coming into the property, that is pointing up into the property. And then for the PV side, it's pointing away from the inverter and it's pointing back to either the consumer unit or the DB board that that solar inverter has been installed on. So always pointing to the load. And that is how you install the CT clamps. So now that you've done all your wiring, you've now turned the power on, you now want to check to make sure that the chint meter is working correctly. Now there is a couple of indications to prove this is working correctly. One is in the top left hand corner of the screen, you've got the T symbol flashing, and then you also have the red light flashing. That means that everything's working and everything is talking to one another. Now, if for any reason through the installation you've been pressing the arrow button, this can change the comms address of the meter. We've had it a couple of times, so there is a way to check the comms address. It's simply just press the arrow, don't keep hold of it, just press the arrow, go through the options until you get to... There is quite a few options, this here. So N-O and it'll be a little symbol dash 001. 001 is the correct comms address for this chint meter. If for any reason that that is a different number, you will have to preset it. So how do we do that? So the arrow button we were just pressing, we press and hold that button down until the address light starts flashing. Now the numbers go from number one all the way up to 247. So what you do is when that number is flashing, Press it once or twice just to move up the numbers and then press and hold the button down and then that will go through the numbers very quickly. Just get all the way around back to number one. Once you're on number one, just let go of the button and after three to four seconds, it will preset the address back to number one. But you should only do that if for any reason the address is not preset to number one. That's how you change it. But if you do have the T signal flashing and you do have the red light flashing, that means everything is working and communicating with the handshoe inverter.